Paolo, uh, can you please tell, tell us more details about... Uh, sure, about sure, of course. I tried to, to start a, pre a small presentation. You should see that. It started uh, more or less in 2004, and we had a very good uh, political situation at that time in the sense that uh, uh, the uh, five years plan for IT was drafted, uh, and we as community, especially Linux community, and not only Linux community, many citizens uh, uh, asked uh, that within that plan, uh, um, uh, free software had to be present, not only in the public administration, but also in, uh, um, in uh, uh, I mean, companies had to, to introduce and we had to help companies uh, use it. And of course, when we were talking about public administrations, we talk also about schools. And it worked. In fact, in 2005, uh, thanks to I see it, some, thanks to some motivated and courageous people uh, from within the schools, the, the, the school board, uh, in particular the Italian school board, uh, uh, thanks to them, it was possible to, to start uh, this project. The, the, the official name at the time was uh, uh, Free Upgrade in South Tyrol Schools. Then uh, the acronym was a little changed to make it more general. And because we, I mean, uh, uh, we like to talk about uh, digital sustainability. And I will talk quickly then uh, about that afterwards. So it's not only a digital sustainability project, it's a, uh, it's a project that brought uh, free software and Linux uh, into schools. This is how it looks like. And uh, this is a typical uh, room, computer room in one uh, of our schools. And uh, what we uh, try to do is typically to use a free software friendly hardware uh, in schools. So when we select hardware, we are uh, very, very careful in doing this. And fortunately, at the national level, uh, the government, let's say, helps us in the sense that when uh, um, national uh, calls for tenders for hardware are done, uh, machines are, are also provided uh, with uh, Linux. So you can choose either Linux or uh, Windows. Uh, and so when we buy a Linux compatible um, uh, hardware, we are, let's say, uh, uh, safe and uh, uh, sure that uh, uh, we're uh, going to be able to, to install it without problems. Uh, this are uh, our numbers. So we have around 17,000 students, uh, 1,900 teachers in uh, around 74 schools. Um, our technicians uh, uh, have around 4,500 PCs and notebooks to manage. And uh, in these 74 schools, so, uh, these schools are uh, served by 64 servers. And um, the, the, the FUS project um, was able to put together, thanks to teachers, around 200 educational pieces of software, free software that are used uh, uh, daily in schools. Of course, there are other schools uh, uh, that are using uh, um, uh, FUS outside uh, the, the national uh, public schools uh, here in, uh, in our area. So, uh, for example, music school, uh, uh, private schools also and uh, schools outside, I mean, uh, uh, South Tyrol, so in other regions uh, as uh, uh, Veneto, so in the area of Venice uh, and uh, in the area of uh, um, Tuscany, so Florence. And uh, we introduced it also in kindergartens for, uh, for teachers because they had old hardware and uh, only Linux was able to reuse uh, uh, old hardware uh, instead of throwing it away. Uh, this is how we are structured. Uh, we have a FUS uh, lab. We are four uh, people, let's say three people plus uh, a, a school inspector that works in the STEAM area. Uh, so it's me, Andrea Bonani and Claudio Cavalli and uh, Fabio Forciniti as inspector. Uh, we have a, a technological partner which, is what, which was one of our uh, students uh, of, uh, of our schools uh, and, uh, and that now is an entrepreneur, who is Marco Marinello. And uh, before we had uh, another company uh, from Tuscany called the True Light. Um, we have uh, uh, eight technicians 
uh, working for the 74 schools. Uh, and uh, the, the grid force is also uh, represented not only by our technicians, which are really uh, incredible, but, uh, um, but uh, by teachers, by technical contact uh, uh, teachers that do the first level support. So they teach, plus they also uh, take care of uh, the first level support uh, in uh, schools. This is a typical school network, then uh, uh, Dashamir is going to represent it uh, and do a demo uh, about, uh, about that uh, later. We used as a virtualization on servers uh, uh, Proxmox. Proxmox. Um, these are the typical services that are installed uh, on, uh, uh, um, on Debian on Debian and um, and uh, uh, we're going to and uh, Dashamir is going to to show that uh, uh, also later later on we use Ansible instead of uh, uh, bash scripts uh, which uh, simplify the configuration and installation of services upon the server and on clients um, we simplified because technicians asked us uh, the process of installation of uh, of uh, uh, of machines uh, thanks to uh, clonezilla and some scripts upon uh, upon that uh, we have uh, a, a tool which is called the octonet uh, which helps uh, in um, in doing the uh, server administration and also uh, uh, clients we used and still use Octomon, which is a monitoring uh, application based on Django. Uh, and then we introduced uh, lately also OCS inventory, which is another piece of, uh, of uh, uh, free software. Um, we started using Zabbix for IT monitoring. And uh, during the pandemic period, we needed uh, since we we uh, our schools are in a private network, we needed uh, to let um, teachers access their homes on school servers, and we by means of uh, um, Nextcloud, uh, and thanks to Marco Marinello, we were able to put a Nextcloud instance on uh, around twenty servers, letting so teachers access their homes. Uh, they are home directories from home. Okay, try to get quicker to, to stay within the 10 minutes. We talked about the digital sustainability. These are the pillars that uh, are regarding uh, the, our, our uh, every digital sustainability project, in particular the ones in schools. So we not only rely on free software, but also, of course, on open standards, open teaching materials, we have to insist uh, very often with the teachers to provide open teaching materials, not only to rely on uh, uh, books uh, bought by uh, editors. And of course, to have these uh, three uh, open accesses, we need open access to the internet, of course, for having uh, knowledge sharing in schools. Um, FUS has been recognized as uh, a public value by several institutions. The last one is the Digital Public Goods Alliance that recognized uh, FUS as public uh, uh, good for these 18 years of uh, activity in, uh, in schools. We, this is our mantra, you all, of course, uh, uh, know. And uh, we don't want uh, to, to work in schools with uh, this scheme here of buying, using and throwing away stuff. Uh, so we don't want software as this, but uh, uh, provided uh, as ingredients and uh, recipe. We want to give students the possibility to look under the hood. Uh, so behind the curtains and uh, not only uh, having them clicking on uh, nice icons as uh, the digital courage uh, german digital courage association uh, says uh, we have we are in contact also thanks to dashamir with other uh, with other projects uh, in particular debian edu uh, then uh, uh, puavo uh, which is a finnish uh, project uh, and uh, some other projects as uh, zorin os 
uh, that uh, in, in the coming uh, uh, weeks is going to use the full server and the Zorin OS as client uh, in some schools in uh, Veneto, in Italy, and, uh, and the Saudi Linux project based uh, on uh, um, uh, Linux Mint. These are the, the software packages that are installed and chosen thanks to our teachers also. Uh, we rely on the public money, public uh, uh, code uh, initiative, which in Italy is uh, ratified by law, by the Code of Digital Administration. And uh, so we are lucky from this point of view that, that there is a law that says that uh, whenever a public administration buys software, has to um, uh, take into consideration the acquisition of open source or reuse of pre-existing software before buying uh, proprietary software. Okay, these are the, the links uh, that, uh, the, the main links to our project, but from the, the main website, FUSPIZ.ET, you can access the repositories and uh, uh, the repository, source code repositories and repositories of ISO. I typically show the expenses we had from the very first year of the project. Uh, so you can see the exit costs uh, that we had to have to exit from proprietary solutions in our schools. But from that point on, uh, exp yearly expenses to maintain and further develop uh, the operating system are really very low. And we typically show that, uh, for example, in the latest uh, uh, eight years, uh, uh, we spent less than what we used to spend for Windows licenses in just one year. Uh, we, we started uh, thanks to a lot of volunteers. Uh, Anton is also listening here and uh, many other people uh, as uh, Diego and uh, Fabio and many others. Uh, uh, there was um, a, a, a project called Schools of the Started to uh, provide families uh, uh, students in particular, uh, uh, hardware, refurbished hardware. And uh, in three years, you can consider that more than 650 PCs were given to students, workers, and in particular families to work at home with the uh, FUS and uh, free software. Okay, I think uh, now it's time for Dashamir to continue. Thanks so much to everybody for your attention.